Welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. Today I'm excited to make this zucchini lasagna for you guys. It is so good. Just got it out of the oven. But I'm going to show y'all how to make it. And it is delicious, y'all. So stick around. All right, guys. So we're going to get started. I'm going to show you how I slice up the zucchini for the zucchini lasagna. This is... Um, I'm going to do it by hand. If you got one of those mandarin, mandolin, mandolin. If you got one of the mandolin, uh, duma flotchers or whatever you call them, to slice it with, then that's easier. Uh, I don't have one, but I, I don't care to do it by hand. I want to show y'all how I do, um, how I'm going to slice this zucchini for the lasagna. So you want to wash your lasagna ahead of time cut the tips off and you want to cut right down the middle now I'm using a good sharp serrated knife this is a Swedish knife it's called a Kang Kang Shan or Kang Shan I don't know how to pronounce it C-A-N-G S-H-A-N this I have a whole set of these they are very sharp this is serrated these were a gift so I don't know where to get them but I figured I'd give you the name. You can hunt them up yourself. And maybe you can get a good set of these. But uh, they were actually a gift to me. And um, um, I don't sell them or don't represent them or anything. But a lot of people want to know what you, what I use sometimes. So this is a good knife. And I'm recommending it. So anyway, I'm going to slice these uh, zucchini up. And you want them thin. I've already got a few sliced ahead of time. And let me show you. See, you want them thin enough where you can kind of see through them a little bit and they're kind of floppy. And um, you want to salt the zucchini ahead of time. So you do this first, you put your zucchini like in a pan or a cookie sheet, whatever you want to do, salt your, salt them, okay? Salt that zucchini because the salt is going to bring out some of that extra moisture that's in uh, the zucchini because they got a lot of water in them and you don't want your lasagna watery so if you don't want your lasagna watery put some salt on them about 15 minutes ahead before you get your lasagna together drain the water off pat them dry with paper towel or you can like lay them thin on a cookie sheet put them in the oven for about 10 minutes or so and that dries them out too a little bit salt them too so you can do it either way but i'm going to show y'all how i do it and I do it by hand. Uh, I start on the end, put my thumb there, just like I'm peeling something. And I'm going to just go right underneath it. And you know it's thin enough when you can see that knife underneath there. And if you can see the shadow of your knife, then you know you're slicing them thin enough, okay? And you want them fairly thin. And that's how I do it. See? Hey there, easy as pie, easy as pie. All right, so I want to finish um, getting this together. I'm probably going to need about, I don't know, maybe about, I want to use, I got about three zucchini here. If I don't use all the zucchini, that's okay. I will just put them back, um, put them in the freezer and use them for something else, okay? So I'm going to get this done, and when, we're, uh, when we come back, we'll, um, start putting it together okay all right so I'm going to chop up some spinach for y'all I about forgot so uh, I'm going to put some spinach into the cheese filling that's going to go in our lasagna so this is just baby I don't know if it's baby spinach it's not it's just it might be I don't know I can't tell it just says spinach but uh, I like to chop mine just a little bit so I just got it here on my uh, chopping board and I'm going to give it a rough chop but I want it to, um, I want it fairly you know fine that way when I put it in my filling um, it'll all get mixed up really good and I love spinach in any kind of lasagna actually and so you just want to chop it up and 
This is probably going to make about maybe two cups or so. You can actually add as much or as little as you want or even leave it out if you're not a fan of spinach. But I like it and I think it just adds a good extra flavor to this because this is going to have some really good flavor and I'm excited to make it. I've made this before and it was always a hit. So yeah, as you can see, see that right there. And that's a good amount of spinach that's going to go into our cheese filling. So, all right, let's get going some more. All right, so for the meat part, I'm doing Italian sausage today. This is a pound of spicy Italian sausage. You can use mild, whatever you want. I'm just going to brown this up. And once it gets brown, I'm going to rinse it and I'm going to set it aside. Um, and or you can use hamburger if you want to use a hamburger you can use that but I'm using Italian sausage today this is a pound of Italian sausage I'm just going to brown up once it gets brown I'm just going to rinse it and tell you the size so when we put our lasagna together all right y'all so I'm going to show you how to make the cheese uh, filling filling for your lasagna um, and you're going to need some ricotta cheese. This is about a 15 ounce container of, not cottage cheese. Did I say cottage cheese? It's ricotta. I don't know. I may have said it, but it's ricotta cheese, okay? I love ricotta cheese. Some people use cottage cheese in lasagna. I don't like cottage cheese in lasagna. I do like cottage cheese, however, <laughs> but I don't like it in lasagna. I like ricotta. So this is ricotta. And it's caught it's part skim i'm not italian so if any of y'all are italian you can let me know maybe what part skim means i just know i like ricotta cheese all right <laughs> but you're going to need um that's a 15 ounce container you're going to need an egg you're going to need uh, about half a cup of grated parmesan cheese and i've made this enough to where I pretty much eyeball it, but I will be sharing the recipe. Uh, recipes are always at the top of my page. If you go to Mountain Cooking with Missy, uh, along the top there, you'll see like about, uh, you'll see like the about section and you'll see photos. Click on the photos and there's an album under photos titled recipes. That's where sometimes I don't always post the recipe. Sometimes I just do the, you only have the video and you can just jot it down as I do it. But I will try to share this recipe in the photos, uh, go under the albums titled recipes a little later after I post this video. So I have a lot of people uh, asking me. And if you message me asking for recipes, I won't probably be able to get back with you because I would be answering messages all the time if you message me or if you even email me. I don't send recipes through email or messenger, I'm sorry. I just don't have the time for that, but I'm just giving you a little heads up where you can find um, the recipes. And I usually tell everybody if, I've, if I'm gonna post one, so they'll be looking for it, okay? Uh, so now I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of basil. I love basil. Basil gives it just, a, just so good. Fresh basil's good too, I just don't have it. This is dried basil. So, and yeah, I I've immediately got a good whiff of that basil. It smells so good. So you wanna mix this first. Now we're gonna add our spinach. We'll add our spinach in. Got it sitting over here to the side. And you wanna mix this really well. Don't need to add any salt because Parmesan cheese, and cheese itself actually has uh, a good amount of salt in it and mix it really good so your egg is all good and see and i want to throw in my spinach i love spinach all right just fold that in until it's all mixed up and this spinach, when spinach cooks down, y'all, it wilts away just about to nothing. So it looks like it's a lot, 
Let it cook down when you bake it. Now you wanna make sure your oven is preheated to about 350. You're gonna bake this uh, maybe 20, 30 minutes till it's all done, all bubbly and good. Mm. All right, and I like it mixed really well. If you like extra cheese, you can add an extra container of the ricotta if you want. Okay, so there is the cheese filling. So now we're gonna put it together. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, put our lasagna together. I'm doing mine in one of these little um, aluminum pans because um, it's, it's deep. I really don't have a deep pan, so sometimes I use these when I bake like a lasagna or something where I need uh, a deep dish. Uh, this is a little less than a 9 by 13, but if you use a 9 by 13, you got one that, that will work too. I sprayed it with a little non-stick cooking spray. And you're going to need about two cups of marinara sauce, spaghetti sauce, any kind of sauce you want to do. Uh, I just put a little down in the bottom to start. You don't need a lot, actually. And just spread that out just on the bottom. And that's all I do. You want to use more sauce you can. Uh, I want to put the lasagna, I'm going to put the zucchini down. So I want to show you all, I've been draining this. And I've drained the water off twice. I've had it sitting here salted. And actually, it's probably been sitting about 30 minutes. And I've drained the water off twice, and which is a good thing. And all I do before I lay them down, I have a paper towel over here. And I just blot, blot each little slice with my paper towel one more time. And I just lay, lay this down right you will lay your lasagna down lengthwise, like that right there. Just blot it off. And just lay them down just like you would regular lasagna noodles, like if you had noodles. Um, and this recipe would work even if you wanted to use noodles, okay? So you don't have to do zucchini. You could do... Uh, just regular noodles. So blotting it off helps. And you just really assemble this just like you would a regular lasagna. Except you're using zucchini. And so I'm just gonna get this layer right here done for you guys. Blot it off. get the excess water. You can see the water still on it and I have drained it. So it does have a lot of water. It don't matter if it's all, it's not exactly even. Okay. Blot it off. Okay. Got that in the bottom. Now is, now you're just going to put your filling in. And I just drop it by spoonfuls, just here and there, so I can just spread it. It don't have to be, like I said, it don't have, this is all going to melt anyway, because this is cheese, of course. It's going to melt when it all starts to bake. Spread this. Spread it out. If you wanted to add some extra cheese right here, you could do some extra mozzarella. I'm not going to add any, but that's always good if you like extra cheesy. All right, I got that spread out. Now I'm just going to crumble in my Italian sausage right on top. Get it up, get, you can leave the meat out. If you don't want to do meat, you can just simply leave it out. You can add extra vegetables if you want. Really, there's a, you know, a lot of good different ways you can make this. 
Now I'm gonna spoon sauce. Just spoon that in there. Spoon that sauce in there. It smells so good, y'all. I can just smell it already. <laughs> it smells so good. So now I'm just gonna repeat the layers. Probably I'm gonna repeat the layers one more time and just do the same thing until it's at the top. When we come back, I'll finish it off. All right, guys, I already got the other layer put in here and look at that. All right, I, what I'm gonna do now is uh, already, I just repeated what I did. I'm just gonna to top it with some Parmesan cheese. And you can use ever how much you want. And I want to top it with some mozzarella cheese. So I saved the mozzarella for the top. Provolone would be good in here. Any kind of Italian cheese, you can do whatever you like. And I'm just going to put that right on. And my oven is preheated to 350. And I'm going to let it Bake for about 30 minutes, just keep an eye on it and until it's all bubbly. And sometimes I like to put mine under a broiler, uh, a broiler to uh, brown it a little bit because I like the cheese to be brown. But about 30 minutes, going in the oven at 350, okay? And when it comes out, y'all get to see it. All right, y'all. The zucchini lasagna is out of the oven. I've been letting it set cool <laughs> off so it don't burn days time. <laughs> I appreciate that. And it looks really good. And mm -hmm. he's going oh, sorry. Take, he's gonna take him a big <laughs> bite. He ain't been up long. <laughs> yeah, I just woke up. He's gonna take him uh, a good old bite. It looks good. I like the crust on it. Yeah, the Here cheesy. Here we go. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Mm-hmm. Now, Dad loves lasagna. Mm. Regular lasagna. But regular lasagna ain't always the best for you. That's good. And he likes it. That's good. Yeah. It's really. Is that a sausage? Yeah, it's Italian sausage. Wow. So. That's see? real good. He likes it. I like it. <laughs> so you can put any kind of veggies in there. It's got spinach in it, but you can do mushrooms. You can add any kind of other veggies you want. Leave the meat out, whatever you want to do. But this is actually very good. It and is very good. So, all right, Daddy approves. I do. <laughs> all right. Okay, y'all. So, I hope you make this. If you do, let me know. It does look really good. So, it is very All right. Good. <laughs> Thank you all for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy. Worth nothing fancy. <laughs> Just good eating. Just, Just good eating. <laughs> didn't have my mouth full that time. Didn't have his mouth full. All right. See you guys later.